Hello and welcome to our online chapel. I hope you've had a good week and you're enjoying the first little signs of spring. Our reading for today is Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 to 9. You cannot fool God, so don't make a fool of yourself. You will harvest what you plant. If you follow your selfish desires, you will harvest destruction. But if you follow God's spirit, you will harvest eternal life. Don't get tired of helping others. You will be rewarded when the time is right if you don't give up. In the marshmallow test, children are given one marshmallow. And told that if they can wait a minute without eating the treat, they will be given a second marshmallow as a reward. The Dunedin Multidisciplinary Study demonstrated a strong correlation between children who pass the marshmallow test and those who go on to experience success in adult life. It turns out that having the self-discipline to pursue delayed gratification is a good indicator of success. Waiting can be one of the most difficult things in life. It is often accompanied by a sense of uncertainty. It reminds us that we can't control everything. And it usually seems to take forever. Today's reading is an encouragement to persevere, to keep doing what is right. God sees your effort. And in the long term, there will be a reward. Individually, as a nation, in our whole world, there are a lot of things that are delayed at the moment, things that seem to be put off. We need to keep doing what is right, to keep treating each other well, to be kind and honest to keep applying ourselves with diligence and working together to combat this virus and support each other. Perseverance is harder in the short term, but in the long term, it brings greater success. Thank you for our government's management of the COVID situation and for our healthcare system. We thank you that the days are getting longer and for the spring flowers and baby animals of this season. We pray for strong and compassionate leadership in our world. Please help people to stick together and support each other. We pray for the people of Lebanon and those who have been affected by the explosion in Beirut. Please bring aid and comfort to these people. Please be with those of us who are preparing for assessments. Help us to stay motivated and on task. We pray for our school community. May we be people who persevere and continue to do what is right. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now. Amen.